hello students welcome back to kiran's english hub so we are finally into the reading 8 the unit 8 and reading c here and i'm very glad to tell you that this is the last lesson of 8th class so so far we have completed all the above lessons which are there in the syllabus till uh, unit 8 reading b so i hope if at all you need any further videos or if at all you need to watch want to watch any videos of all the eighth class you can once go back to the channel and go through all the videos that have been already uploaded so in this video we will go through the last lesson that is the dead rat okay let us see uh, what this story is about in brief okay so as you know that this whole unit theme is gratitude okay gratitude means being thankful to someone okay so here in this uh, story uh, there is a family in the family there is a husband wife and mother okay so after the marriage of uh, this husband and wife the husband leaves uh, the family behind and goes elsewhere we do not know where he goes so after that the woman was pregnant and uh, she finally has a boy okay so since uh, she has been you know delivered and, you know they care for uh, the both mother and uh, grandmother both care for that little boy very well and finally uh, when he has grown up they would tell see my dear son or my dear grandson we have grown you so hard with so much of hardships okay so we are done growing you now it is in your hands to feed our family so this boy goes to a local merchant a uh, local kind of people who gives loans okay kind of for interests so when he goes there that uh, fellow the merchant was not so you know quite good at speaking and uh, instead of giving him some money he tells this boy to take the dead rat which was there okay and he tells him you make money with this dead rat that is the capital for you that means that is the investment for you so this boy goes out with this dead rat and uh, you know uh, he sells it for someone who wants some food for the cat okay and from there he will get uh, some bengal gram okay and he would soak that bengal gram in water and the next day he would take that bengal gram to the people uh, who cut the wood woodcutters so there the woodcutters give him <clears throat> uh, like like you know two two kind of wood pieces every day okay each one for each one they used to get two two wood pieces okay in return instead of money again he used to sell that uh, wood and get some more money again he would to get that bengal gram and soak it in the water okay again he used to sell it to the woodcutters again used to get the wood so as this thing is going on uh, there was a continuous rain in the city so everybody ran out of this firewood okay so this boy has by the time so much of firewood with him so immediately his firewood went, would get so much of uh, you know boom like everybody used to come and buy his firewood and there was so much of demand for his firewood because that the firewood was not available anywhere else so because of this reason he earns very good amount okay um nearly like 100 gold coins and finally with that uh, you know amount he has some business finally he gets into different different areas of business and finally he would become one of the richest persons in that entire area and after becoming rich he carries one gold the rat made of gold to the person to the same person who told him uh, to invest this rat okay the merchant finally this boy takes it there and he tells the merchant thank you for giving me such a good suggestion with this little suggestion i have become this type of rich man today so in a thankfulness in a gratitude way he offers that um, rat made of gold to the merchant so he shows his gratitude okay let us see the story in detail in the city of Ujjain there was a young merchant 
named Mandanka. He lost his father when he was 18. It was his mother who brought him up with great affection and love. Unfortunately, he turned out to be a vagabond. His mother hoped that he would be normal and settle down if he was married. And so, she found a suitable girl and they were married. But Mandanka became worse. So this story is situated in the city of Ujjain. Okay, so there was a young merchant. His name is Mandanka. He lost his father. Okay, when when he was in his teens, teens in the sense when he was very young, like when he was a kid. So when father is not there, mothers are so careful. Okay, they brought him with so much of good affection and also love. But unfortunately. This Mandanka, he has become vagabond. Vagabond means a person who roams, you know, here and there without any work and all. Okay. His mother hoped that he would become normal and settle down if he gets married. This is the idea of all the mothers or all the relatives. Uh, you know, when the kids or when the people, when they are a uh, little bit grown up, if they are not being well, if they are not good, um, then immediately the idea of the parents is to get them get their marriage so the same thing happened here but what happened was when he was married that uh, you know his lifestyle has become more worse than the previous life one day mandanka absconded from his house deserting his mother and pregnant wife his mother grieved for him the daughter-in-law also uh, after some time gave birth to a son his name was Ratnanka. Though poor, Ratnaka was brought up with affection and care and given good education. So when these things were going on, the wife was pregnant and this man leaves both mother and wife beyond and he also just goes away like his father. So both mother and grandmother do not know what to do. But what do they do is they brought him up with great affection and love without any uh, you know kind of a problem without any um, kind of lackness in his education and everything okay one day when he was 10 years old his grandmother said to him my lad my lad in the sense kind of my boy your father left us in misery we two women have brought you up with whatever little money and jewelry we had now we don't have anything to fall back upon so when this uh, Ratnanka was 10 years old, the grandmother called him and said, my dear little boy, say till now we have brought you up with whatever the jewelry, whatever the money we left, we had. But now it is your responsibility because we do not have anything on us. Okay, we ran out of all the money. So it is your responsibility. You are quite grown up. So... You take, uh, you take up some business to eke out a living. She said, now you should start some business so that we could, you know, improve our living conditions. In the neighboring village, there is a well-to-do merchant named Ekshadatta who lends money to the poor but capable persons. You go to him, explain to him our condition and borrow some money so that you can start some business for our livelihood. So the grandmother did not only tell that our condition is very bad, but she also suggested him that there is a merchant, okay, a person who borrows money to other people, okay, who, who lends money to other people. And uh, the uh, grandmother said, you go to him, speak to him, you tell, the, uh, tell him our condition and you borrow some money. Okay, so let us see what happened. Following the instruction of his grandmother, Ratnanka went to Yakshadatta. At that time, Yakshadatta, the rich merchant, was taking a stroll. Knowing him to be Yakshadatta, Ratnanka approached him and said, Sir, I am poor merchant boy. My father deserted us before I was born. My grandmother and my mother have brought me up with great difficulty. We have heard of your fame and generosity in helping poor uh, people of a poor status. I request you to lend me some money for business. I promise to repay 
the amount soon. So, listening to the instructions of the grandmother, this little boy, he went to um, this uh, businessman, okay, the merchant. And he went there and said, you know, without even asking, he was, uh, you know, kind of strolling, strolling in the sense, sitting in the chair and moving. So, he immediately understood that uh, this was the rich merchant, uh, Yakshadatta. So, he asked him, um, my dear Yakshadatta or respected Yakshadatta, see, my name is so-and-so, I am from so-and-so village. My mother and my father, okay, married so-and-so long years back. But my father was, left me, left a, a family when I, before I could born. And my mother and grandmother brought me up with so much of difficulty. So now it is my responsibility to take care of them. So I need to start some business. So give me some money. Okay, that was the request. Okay. Hearing Ratnanka, Akshayata laughed, looked around and pointing towards a dead rat in the street said, Lo, my boy, the dead rat is the capital which I can lend you. You take it away and do some trade with it. To an intelligent man, it will fetch millions and even if I give you millions to an unintelligent man, it will be of no use. Okay. Now, this uh, merchant has heard everything that, uh, you know, Ratnanka has said. Now, he said, immediately, you know, after listening to Ratnanka, the Akshidatta immediately laughed. Okay, laughed at this boy. And he looked around and when he was looking around, there was a dead rat. Okay. So, this merchant said, see my boy, you take this dead rat. This is your capital. Capital in a sense, investment, my dear students. Okay. You take this dead rat. This is the investment for you. You take it with you and you do some trade. And he also said, if you are intelligent man, you will fetch millions with this dead rat. If you are not intelligent man, even if I give you millions, it will be of no use. Okay. Now, Ratnanka thought for a minute and then took the dead rat as a favor from Ekshadatta. He made a cup of leaf and placed the dead rat in that cup. He carried it uh, through streets crying, a rat for sale. One merchant was taming, uh, taming a cat in order to get rid of the rats that were a menace in his shop. Purchased the dead rat as prey for his cat and gave him a handful of Bengal gram. So this little boy, after listening to Yakshadatta, he took a leaf, he made it in the shape of a cup and he carried that cup in the streets. Okay. And he was crying like a rat for sale. Crying in the sense, shouting here. Okay. So there was a, a you know, a person with shop kind of store. Okay. He wanted a, a a rat for as a prey for his cat okay because there were so many rats in his shop but the cat was doing nothing so like this rat would be helpful for the cat you know to catch all other rats so he bought this uh, rat and he instead of giving him some money he gave him a handful of bengal gram okay now what did ratnanka do ratnanka took the bengal gram home and soaked it in water next morning he added some salt and pepper to the soaked and swollen Bengal gram, took drinking water in an earthen pitcher, went outside the city and sat under the shade of tree and offered each woodcutter some Bengal gram and cold water. So, he took this Bengal gram to house and uh, after going house, what did he do? He soaked it till next morning. And before he could go out, he had taken uh, some you know, cold water in the pitcher. Okay, earthen pitcher. Earthen pitcher in the sense, pitcher made out of mud. Okay, so he went outside uh, into the city and he sat under the shade of a tree and he offered all this Bengal gram and also water to the hungry or thirsty woodcutters. Okay, so this, was, this has become his routine. The hungry and thirsty woodcutters were pleased with Ratnanga's service, gave him two pieces of firewood each. So, when this is a little boy, right? So, when he is trying to help them, so everybody would be so generous, right? So, they also were generous towards this boy for his service and they gave him two two pieces of wood 
uh, to this boy each okay by evening the pieces piled up into a big heap which ratnanka sold away for 2 rupees in the city so by the evening he has sold all his bengal gram and by that time he was able to collect uh, you know all this uh, um, you know five wood and it was a big heap so what did this boy do he has taken all this firewood into the city into the town and he sold them for 2 rupees now out of the 2 rupees ratnanka gave one to his grandmother towards saving and the other rupee purchased and with other rupee purchased a kuncham of bengal gram so without spending uh, all this money just like other kids you know this boy he has given one rupee to his grandmother for kind of saving and another one rupee he has taken it and purchased again bengal gram kuncham in the sense the measuring unit okay just like we have liter of water that is called as kuncham okay now out of this he soaked 1 kilo every day and sat under the same tree with cold water in this way he collected many cart loads of fuel within a month okay so just like this 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 has become his regular habit okay so every day he used to buy that bengal gram sit under the tree and give it to the wood cutters get the wood from them and again go and save that wood okay or at least go and sell that wood so this has become his daily routine okay so but within a month he was able to collect so much of fuel fuel in the sense this wood okay fortunately there were incessant rains for 10 days and as a result there was a scarcity of food in the city so what happened was this was very fortunate situation for this boy in that city the rains continuously didn't stop for 10 days there were continuous rains when there are continuous rains people would run out of wood right so all the wood would become wet and there would be no possibility of lighting them up or cooking okay now the firewood which ratnanka had collected fetched him 100 gold coins so this boy started to sell that firewood whatever he had collected before at this time now this was uh, you know would become um you know kind of demanded firewood because not so many people have the firewood right so immediately he got so much of money and the money was 100 gold coins with that money ratnanka opened a firewood stall and began in timber from timber to cloth from cloth to grain and from grain to diamonds his business progressed rapidly within a couple of years ratnaka became one of the leading merchants in the city so with the 100 gold coins whatever he has got out of this firewood he has uh, you know finally set up a shop of firewood kind of firewood stall later you know he started to deal with timber business and from the timber he started cloth business and from cloth he started grains business and from grains he started diamonds business so like one after another one after another he started to grow his whole business okay so within couple of years this ratnanka has become one of the leading merchants in the city he has become so rich one day ratnanka got a rat made of gold weighing 1 kilo its eyes were made of rubies ears of sapphires and it had a diamond chain around its neck it was kept in a silver trap and carried in a procession with pomp ratnanka was leading the procession procession when he reached the residence of ekshadatta he asked the procession to halt hearing the band and the noise of the procession ekshadatta came out of his house and inquired what all that pomp and hubbub was about so after this boy has become rich in the city one day he has taken one gift the gift was the rat made of gold it was of 1 kilo gold okay and the eyes of the rat were with rubies and the, the ears were of sapphires and also there was a diamond chain around its neck the around the rat's neck and all this you know um, a rat was kept in the silver trap 
and uh, there was a procession there was kind of you know musical band and all if you can see in the picture you can find that out okay this is the picture got it and you could also i think see another picture here this was the picture you can see um that was before he could start the business okay where he is pointing out to a dead rat and here later we can see that his complete attire is changed okay whereas the merchant is the same here but if you look at this lad here the boy his attire is completely changed so everybody has come in this type of way okay so everybody has dressed well and there was a pomp hubbub and there was also a rat actually that was leading the a uh, procession there okay so listening like this sounds okay all this music actually that came out okay and immediately coming out he asked hey what is this all about you are all you know having all this music drums and all okay what was it about ratnanka addressed actually that others sir i became a millionaire by your grace two years back when i came to you for a loan you gave me a dead rat your wise saying and the capital which i borrowed from you made me a rich man so when akshayata came out and asked what is this all about ratnanka said my dear sir or dear sir i became a millionaire by your grace what was the grace that man suggested this boy to take this dead rat and also along with that he gave a suggestion okay a quotation kind of sentence okay so because of all this you know uh, i borrowed this rat from you and i made this rat as my capital as my investment and now i became a rich man now i have come to repay your debt in the shape of a golden rat kindly accept this as symbol of my gratitude now this boy said i have come back here just to pay back you know the service or that suggestion that you have given back to me in the form of a golden rat okay and please accept this golden rat as the symbol of gratitude instead of simply saying thank you he has taken this golden rat and he said please accept this this is the gratitude that i am showing to you yakshadatta was amazed to hear this story he was very pleased with the intelligence and gratitude of ratnanka so this see the hard you know thing that was there here in this story is that he has given the dead rat as the capital instead of giving him some money even after doing this ratnanka took his took it positively and ratnanka finally after becoming rich he did not feel uh, like you know he has given me a dead rat to invest why should i go and give him uh, some money or some gratitude instead of thinking like that ratnanka has actually has taken a rat made of gold you could just imagine the price of that rat okay the golden rat so akshayata was so happy that you know many people who has who have taken money they don't even show any gratitude but this boy who has taken uh, you know the dead rat as his investment he has brought me back a rat made of gold so he was so happy he was so pleased with the you know knowledge and intelligence of this boy and also with the gratitude of this boy ratnanka so this is how you know sometimes people they may not help us directly but indirectly they would help us the thing is that we have to be thankful to them even for that type of indirect you know uh, helping or indirect uh, help that they give us instead of doing that many people would simply uh, you know say this is my hard work i have become this great by on, on my own feet why would i go and show him some gratitude we should not have this type of behavior okay so that is the moral of this story and this is written by p c roy okay got it students so i am so glad to tell you all through this video that we have completely uh, you know are done with this eighth class and my dear students i am really really happy that you are all making use of my videos watching the videos of our channel and uh, also i am getting very good comments saying that sir 
um you know i got very good marks big after watching your video i understood all the lesson after watching your video i had written my exam very well this is all about i know this is not to entertain you my dear students this is only for the sake of your understanding and for the sake of your examination and the aspirants i hope you are all watching this video ted dsc aspirants um i hope you are getting this if at all you need any more videos um please do comment and also the people who like this video please hit the like button please subscribe it and share the video to your friends see you all with the next video thank you for watching